everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Today, I introduce a ALU report, which is integrated with Jenkins. Before we start, let me introduce myself. My name is Jun. Here is my LinkedIn. Below link is my GitHub. So that's meaning you can get all of source code for this demo from the GitHub. Well, let's start it our subject. Today, I split four subjects here. A lunar, a lunar report setup. Configure such parameters. Apply parameter with test engine. The final is to introduce a lunar report features. Let's move on the first project, a lower report setup. A lower report is integrated with Jenkins. Before you use it, you need to download a plugin. Let's move on the download plugin page. Probably I go to the Junkin plugin. Manage Jet plugins. Now I click installed a Loon Junkins plugin, which is already installed. If you don't have this plugin, please go to available, search it and install. After that, you can click your Maven job. Go to configure. Then you can click the post build action. Click on add post build action. There has a Alu report. If you do not see this option, you can go back to Junkins. Manage Junkins, click the Global Tool Configuration. Then you scroll down to ensure the ALU Commander installation is checked it, installed automatically. Save your global configuration, then go back to your project, go to the configuration, go to the post build action, click the add post build action, ensure the ALU report is there. Then give the ALU result path. Normally, it will be generated in ALU results. If you have a specific path, 
you can specify the path. Currently, I leave it default. Then you click Save this configuration. After that, you can make a build for this project. Let's say I make a build now. After this job is running finished, a new icon, a new report icon, is showing beside on the job. Now my job is running. We just take few minutes to wait. Okay, this job is finished. Now you can see there has a Allure report icon. Click it. Your test cases Status and regarding such information is showing on the overview page. This is your test cases in this build, and all of test cases path now. It is showing in green color. The environment currently you are testing a uh, Google. Your test platform is on master. After this finished, you get this build this job build URL. You can notice this URL is the same as that when you are using. Okay, now our Allure report configured probably. It works well. Now we go to our Second object. Okay, before going to the next subject, one more important thing we need to ensure your Maven project include related. A new configuration and the dependencies in the POM file. Where is the POM? Here is my POM file. This configuration and dependencies. Without those dependencies and the configuration, you will not get this report. That's meaning this report icon is not showing. Okay, that's all of regarding the Allure report configuration in Maven project and the Jenkins. Now we go to the next subject regarding the parameters. Why do we need this parameter? 
as earlier I show the report. Let's open another window. This is the report. How do you show this info under this environment information on this period for this job? That's all of information from the Jenkins parameter. Now, in this project, there has a build with parameters. You can see there has a build number under the environment, under the test URL. Actually, this test URL is from this parameter. And this plant form is from this running on. No, it's from the uh, environment parameter. The build URL is for the build number, this build URL. Now, where can we set up these parameters? You go to the project, then click configure. There has a general option. This project is parameterized as the option. Check this option. Click at the parameter. You can select stream parameter. Now I set up the three parameter build number, environment, and uh, the test URL. So the build number, I want to get the build URL. It's meaning after the job is running, I want to get the report URL. The environment, I want to get the node name. The test URL is for the test cases, what we need to test. Save this parameter, then there will have a build with parameter. You will get those parameters like the page I will, I'm showing. Configure parameter, another one is regarding the node, running environment. You can see there has a parameter is running on. You can select master at Linux. That is the mo that is the master of the node. I set up the a node Linux here. Then before we starting set up the set up the environment parameter, we need to ensure a plugin installed which is called node and the slave node node and the label parameter plugin if you do not install this one then if you go to the configure for configure of the project 
The project is parameterized. When you click the add parameter, there will not a node project, node option. Now you install this plugin, you can add this node. Like this page is showing, this node. You can select default node you want to run this job on the master or the Linux. Now I select to run on master. Now click save. You go to the build with parameter. There has a running on. You give the na parameter name. The default is master is selected. So that's meaning once you click this build, then you can get those information on this report. Of course, you will ask how do I write, get or get those parameter information and saved on this report. Now we go to the source code to apply those parameter in test ng. I open the test ng file. Here is test ng xml. This piece of code is to get the value from the parameter you set up in Jenkins. Notice this value is meaning the parameter name. Let's say the environment. This is env. The build number build number. Now we go to our test cases. In the before test case, we gave the parameter run environment build URL test URL. Remind you this parameter name is in test ng parameter name. Run in env, run env. Now, do you know how to use the parameter to get the value from the junkie? The next question you will ask, how can I write those values in the report environment session? Now we go back to our prop, prop, uh, our screen to confirm we set up the running environment config a parameter we finished those and we also give the test ng set a parameter for test case Let's move on the earlier question. How can we show 
those value on this environment section. That is regarding the environment environment property. Now I go to the source code. Here is the ALU result. Here is an environment property. These files content will be showing in the report environment session. Let's make comparison. Test URL. Test URL, get this value. Platform, get the EMV. Build URL is for the build number. But uh, from here, you see it like a parameter, like a variable. This is actual value because this is my local. My local cannot get the build number. In the Jenkins code, it's a bit different. This is the workspace. Then we go to the ALU results. This is the environment property. Now we view this file. environment you can see this build URL is a HTTP local ADAD job then this is 136 this is the last one finished to then this is the platform this URL Okay, how do we generate this file? In our code, we have a function create environment file. This function is to create a environment property file and write those three values into this environment file. Now you get it how to generate a environment property and save related value into the property file. In our case, we use after test to invoke this function. So that's meaning you can get all of the information after this running. Okay, that's regarding the environment properties. Now we go to go back to the basic annotation. Test severity decryption story. We open to the run test case. Then we go to the report. I click these four test case. Let's see what test case it have run. The test verification.
this one. Test verification. From here, we can see this is run test title verification function. Let's find out this function. Here is that. Then the test priority decryption we set the title verification. This is the title verification, the name, the decryption. Then here is also a decryption is for details. This, this case run on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Here is decryption. Serality, we give the critical. Serality critical is here. Then the body is only a one function verified page. If we click the verified page, we can see there has two sub steps. Get open the page. Let's see. Get open the page. This regarding mostly basic functions, basic annotation. If you want, you can give the story also, story to verify URL title. Then we go to next topic regarding attachment. That's a good feature for a loop report. Normally, after our testing finished, we want to present our attachment. That's a good way to attach some files in the report. Let's say I attached a CSV file. It's showing like that. Now we go to the source code to see regarding attachment parts. Let's see this CSV attachment. Here is the test decryption. For these cases, I use a while loop to attach the twice. Then in this loop, I call a one function is a save CSV attachment. From here, you can see I'm using annotation attachment. This value is simple CSV attachment. It's showing on the report. Then the type is CSV file. Then use the function is written get a simple file. This get a simple file has a one step. Okay, so this is all of source code regarding
test attachment. By the way, the ALU report support a different file, HTML, XML, text, image, Now we move to our next subject regarding categories. Categories in the report overview it is showing categories. Now the zero items is showing here, which is more related to the failed test case. Now, let's do one more time the building, the build. I give the test URL change to Yahoo. I click build. Let's see the report what is the difference between the earlier one it is still running I need to take a few minutes a new report this is a very useful report. Seems almost done. Okay, it's done. Now you see this job change it to yellow color. Then I click the ALU report. It open a new page. This time, still four test cases, two pass and two fail. And you did you notice the test UI? It changed to Yahoo. And the category is showing here. Two, it's displaying the product defects. So that's meaning the category is for failed test case. Then we can see the title verification. We expect Google showing, but found Yahoo. The next test cases is it is back to google but not but from the yahoo it is not expected url by the way the category can be optimized right in a JSON file, category JSON file. Attachment environment, category JSON file. Let's go to the ALU report framework. We can see the category JSON file like that. So, if the test case's status is a fail, it matched to product defect. If the test case's status is broken, it matched the test defect. Currently, 
In this case, it is a fail, so it matched in product defense. In the overview, it shows product defense. Of course, you can um, rename and give a different information or name or the status. That's regarding the category. Then the next one is regarding the length. We go to the report and to click the test cases. You can see this third test cases is regarding test link. There has a link, wiki page or the external page or the Jira TK or the test something information. If you want to link the tickets or stories or other some information to this case. We go to source code. We check the test link. Here is test link. You can see the test link we need use such link annotation. We give the name, then we give the type. Link, name, and the type. Issue, also we need to give the issue number. Then the TMS link, we give the number. Until now, I think you have a question. How this link point to this page? Here is a lunar property. This is for issue. That's meaning this issue will point to this link. This one is for TMS. TMS test one will point to this path. Then my link and the link. My link and the link. So there has four. Let's Verify wiki page. We put it going to my link wiki page. Wiki page going to my link wiki page. External page is going to link external page. Jira issue it going to issues page. TMS link, it go to TMS. Yes. Then the next is regarding flaking. Flaking, we need to use annotation at a flaky for a key, for a test case. Then in the report, how it look like? Test flaky. If you put on here, it will show test is flaky. Now we go to the failed case. If we put the mouse between the test title with the parameter at issue test is flaky. So you can understand this case 
is not stable, which not always running successful. Now we go back to our agenda. Okay, that's all for the Alu report. I hope it can help you. See you later. Bye bye.